Alrighty, so I've been staining like crazy. We've got uh, the lowers done, the uppers done, and now I'm kind of finishing up the uh, little bunch organizers and stuff that go along the back wall. And uh, I'm gonna set up a time lapse and throw all the dividers in and get this guy all organized out. So uh, it's just kind of stuff that I want to be quick and easy to grab. Um, don't wanna have to look in a drawer for it. I think I'm going to do like a pens, pencils, sharpies uh, area, and then chalk, some other stuff. You guys will see. So I'm just going to set up a time lapse and build this guy out so you can watch how I build it all, and then hopefully implement something like that in your build. Alrighty, so here is kind of a semi-finished look at what we got going on. So uh, we most commonly use the Type On 2. That's why I have two of them in there because when Adam and I are both working on projects, we'll usually both have one on us. And then I've got some of the uh, Type On. This is like a molding style and it's pretty awesome for like crown and stuff because you can actually put a line on one outside corner and it gives you plenty of time because it does not drip uh, to get your pieces fit up. And then this is like an exterior wood glue uh, little brush I figure I'll keep close by in here. Uh, I left a little bit of extra room just in case things change in the future. Uh, next I have chalk. So I have the Tajima lines. I have some black chalk, some red chalk. This is leftover blue chalk that I'll run out before I get a Tajima bottle of it. So left a little bit of room in this one as well. And then uh, we use different, you know, marking devices. So um, mechanical pencils, I really enjoy for trim personally because the line is always super fine. And uh, as we're trimming, you don't have to keep sharpening your pencil. You can just kick out more, more lead. Um, I personally really like that. Then we've got regular pencils if you're into that, uh, framing pencils pens and then sharpies and this big one this thing is freaking sweet look at that thing i don't even know why this is in here but whatever um so yeah just kind of keeping these couple things separate um usually when i get my tool belt on this is my first stop to get squares uh level you know etc whatever i need um so then i can load up for you know, framing or trimming or whatnot with whatever marking devices I want. So um, I kind of like having them all separated instead of looking through a big mess. I used to have them in a paint cup, terrible idea. Uh, and then I've got down at the end torch here for, you know, you never know when you need to start a fire. Um, a extra bottle, some marking paint. I usually have some orange in here too. Um, break clean and some WD-40. Um, I'd like to get the stuff I treat my locks with to keep that in here. And I still have a little bit of room here in the middle uh, for future expansion. So um, that's some of the benchtop organization. Um, this has moved over from the previous build. Tape measure rack has moved over from the previous build. This one was really easy. It's just uh, nitro gloves and these Grime Boss wipes, which are pretty awesome. They take up latex paint and stuff really easy. So a uh, little organizer for that too. So that gets some of this stuff um, that I like to have ready at hand, uh, not in a drawer and up and out of the way to where we still have bench space. So uh, yeah. All right, so I hope that helped. Uh, super rudimentary. I literally just make pieces out of plywood scraps, use the square to keep everything uh, nice and 90 degrees to each other, uh, and then nail it together with the cordless brad nailer and some, I think those are probably only like one inch brads because that's half inch uh, dividers and half inch sides. So nothing too crazy, pretty simple but uh, it keeps things super organized, which is the way I like it. Probably a borderline OCD, but that is okay. 
Um, that is all I have to say. If this helps you guys out with your build, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video.